So what's that that bar in the bottom left? Oh, that's the alert level, I believe. I think that affects like how many guys come, how many guys are coming at you and stuff like that. I see. He's got that guy's a terrible shot. Oh, that guy got a sniffer, I think. Oh, I'm a terrible shot too, I guess. There we go. Boost his aim. And then get out of the line of fire there. Uh oh. That, I don't, that looks bad. Oh, we oh. missed. Hey, it's Flandry's persona. <laughs> we, we got we got to swing by Igor's place after this. Oh, naturally. Oh, uh, this will be not that my friend ever even watches these videos, but um, I am writing. I've written a campaign uh, for my current party, uh -huh. and uh, it. It involves going into uh, a place and being tested on your personal morality. Mm -hmm. And the end result for a lot of the characters is that they have to face what is essentially a shadow. Oh, that sounds promising. Yeah. Well, hold on, and hold it's... on. Let's see what this. Let's check this Newsnet archive. Oh yeah. News Newsnet one return on subject. Silas Forsberg, the body of Silas Forsberg, a chop shop shop surgical assistant was found in an apartment in Snohomish Snow Homish earlier this week. The body had been there for as long as a month when Forsberg's landlord noticed a rancid smell and contacted authorities. Lone Star representatives have issued a statement saying Forsberg's death has been ruled a suicide. According to reports, his body, a mass of puncture wounds, and the cause of death was determined to be an overdose of anti-stress medications and sedatives. The man's employer claims he was a dedicated employee though he suffered from bouts of depression. Forsberg's next of kin could not be located. The, the attorney appointed to his estate has located a, writ, a will written weeks prior, leaving all of his belongings to his psychiatrist. That's weird. The identity of the psychiatrist has not been released due to privacy concerns. Yet another sad end to a life, as is far too common here in the sprawl. That might be something we can go on. Let's regroup and meet space for a bit. Okay. So you're saying there's some persona thing? They're... Oh yeah. So the characters are gonna just reach what is essentially a persona, and if they do the persona thing where they reject it, then it goes ape shit off. on them. Yeah. Yeah. Never, ne never It'll tell an, never tell an evil doppelganger of yourself that it's not you. They they don't like that. <laughs> Words to live by for well, all you have... everyone. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have that in um, Persona 3. The Shadows of Character. No, that was different. Yeah. Well, they didn't have the Midnight Hour. In I mean, they didn't. No, I mean, they did have the Midnight. They didn't have the Midnight Channel in three. Right. The forces of darkness didn't control the television industry at that point. Okay. Oh, right. Tanaka is there. <clears throat> Johnny Clean. So here's what we know. Our DNA, our DNA evidence belongs to a dead man, whose death was never explained. He worked with chop shops, which fits with the living guy that you've met. The Newsnet says he left his estate to a psychiatrist. Maybe finding out who his psychiatrist was will give us our next clue. Hey, remember something else, Nick? Hmm. His face was mutilated beyond recognition. Right. They checked the dental records. They had to check his dental records, yeah. Which I, I've heard is not that accurate. Really? Like, I remember reading somewhere, like, the real process. The, uh... The reason why they had, they, they get next of kin and bring it in and show them the dead body and they're like, is this the person? Mm -hmm. Is because that is the, like... Even if they have the same teeth, thanks to, like, corrective dentistry, nobody can be 100% sure, so they have to get 
like the next of kin to confirm that as the dead person. Right. The new the newsnet says he left his estate to his psychiatrist. Maybe finding out who his psychiatrist was will give us our next clue. My gut says we can deck into the medical board's records and reverse trace to find this doctor. You in? Punch it, man. All right. Back into 4chan we go. <laughs> All right, Flandry. And... I'm kind of like I'm kind of like like translucent silver surfer. Yeah. Did you ever you played um, Ultimate Alliance, right? I have not. I've seen it played. Okay. Um, there was this hilarious thing in uh, in the uh, Mar the Marvel games. They like uh, well the uh, RPG overhead style games. They let you choose your costume. And. Uh, <laughs> Silver Surfer has like six costumes, and they all are, look exactly the same. I was gonna say, how, how, he does, he doesn't wear he doesn't wear a costume. He's uh, yeah. I mean, that's not a costume. That's his actual body. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm imagining like the silver the Silver Surfer, but he's just like wearing a tuxedo or something. <laughs> just a, a hat. Like a bowler hat. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Okay. White Sparky, I see. Oh, hit! Oh, it's, oh, it's charging something. It's at 50%. I probably should put this guy down before I find out what he's charging. Got him. All right, Johnny Clean. Johnny Clean persona. Check out the medical board. Hacked. Patient records. Searching medical records. Silas Forsberg. Medical records for Silas Forsberg located. 2020 to 2030. These dates? Oh yeah, I guess they are. Pediatric record. Partial. One partic particular pediatrician's entry stands out from the rest. <coughs> Child suffered... <coughs> Child suffers from a chronic depression and social anxiety most likely caused by his physical abnormalities. We've seen many cases like this recently, with the outbreak of changeling children being born. With the aberrant physiology we're seeing, there is no telling what sort of brain functions are affected. He prescribed a series of sedatives last year that seemed to have no effect, upping the dosage. Let's see, 2030 to 2040. Data missing or corrupted. Contact your administrator for help. All right, 2040 to present. The file is quite large and takes well over an hour to read through. The final entry, however, is the most significant. It is written by Dr. Henry Holmes. Silas has overcome a significant Silas has overcome significant mental disorders and no longer goes through periods of violent episodes. Latest medications have proven especially effective, but I believe that being treated by another elf has significantly impacted his treatment. Oh, he's an elf. Oh, that's right, they said he was an elf. Yeah. Unfortunately. My efforts to maintain an emotional boundary with him have proven challenging. He has bonded to me in an unhealthy and, frankly, an unnerving way. His hero worship exhibits itself in the form of mimicked speech patterns and adopting my dress. I am assigning another doctor to his case. I will inform him at his next session. Mimicking him. Are you getting, starting to get an inkling of what might have happened? 
Who who is the sole beneficiary of his will? His his uh, psychiatrist. One Doctor Holmes. Oh, yeah. He's obsessed with Doctor Holmes, with being Doctor Holmes. Walk me... I feel like an idiot because you had to walk me through that. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. But yeah. <clears throat> Got a name now, Dr. Holmes? Let's keep going and find out where he works. Watch out! That black ice could fry our brains and kill us! White icy. Yeah, black ice. Yeah, the uh, black icy. Like, the white icy, it like can like basically just like eject you from the matrix. Hmm. Black ice can literally can actually kill you. Let's see. Oh. oh, oh, wrong way. Oh, great. Great job, Flandry. It's confusing. In the Matrix. Well, there aren't a lot of landmarks. Yeah, everything looks Fire! Good. Damn. Oh, nice. Uh, Ow! Yeah. Oh, see that, ten, the, um... see that said ten host damage. Oh. Yeah, oh, it's... so it kills the real world. Thing. It can it can hurt you in the real world. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's literally ten hit points or what, but it ain't good. Right. Well, it seems like it would be ten hit points because that's what it looks like on the uh, characters' portraits in the top right. I'm not sure if that's his hit points or his persona's hit points. Oh, um, yeah, that's true. You may also recall if you are forcibly, or if you are abruptly ejected from the Matrix, that also causes some damage. Do you remember Dump Shock? Yes. Because we had, we like, we had the option, you know, like when we were rescuing those, you know, those mind control chip heads. It was like, do you want to like? you know, carefully bring them out, or do you want to just, you know, jerk them out? And if if you bring them out too quickly and they're already injured, you can actually kill them. Yeah. Now, if I nah. remember right, you're not familiar with the Mega Man Battle Network series, right? Uh, no, not really. That's what... Uh, the, the net in that game it's all, looks a lot It's all like... Business. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, Mega Man is an AI in those games, right? Yep. Yeah, Mega Man dot exe. Is that actually his name? Yeah, Mega Man dot exe. That's what they call him. It's a strange series to say the least. Got him. Nice. All right, medical board. Employment records located. Henry Holdings Holmes, Ph.D. Check employment Triple status. H. <laughs> this is what he's doing in the future. <laughs> After Sound conquering the world of wrestling, again. I, I I wonder if he like when he's counseling his patients, if he's sitting in the giant like Nordic god throne, <laughs> attended by his wenches. <laughs> Doctor Hemsley, right. I I just don't feel very comfortable <laughs> with them there. Yeah, that yeah, that'd be. That would suck if your psychiatrist suddenly just did a heel turn on you. <laughs> Pedigree be, what, you what, <laughs> the couch. What a Get swerve! <laughs> All right. Okay. Cur Dr. Henry Holmes currently holds the position of chief psychiatrist and administrator <clears throat> at Mercy Mental Hospital, Snohomish, Washington, United Canadian and American States. Current uh, previous employers. Previous employers, 20, 2045 to 2054, psychiatrist in residence, Mercy Hospital, Mercy Mental Hospital, 2040 to 2045, attending psychiatrist, U.S. Uh, Mercy Mental Hospital, 2030 to 2040, private practice. That is an interesting medical career path. Most people Starting... go from public to private, not private to public. Interesting. Well, maybe, maybe, well, you know, he 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 had he he had to go into into like uh, 
<coughs> he went. He went into the hospital to you know, pr uh, you know. Pr <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> well, it was another shocking swerve, you know. Yeah. Tri Triple H had his private practice, and then suddenly he 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 went into he went to the hospital he went he went to the hospital you know pedigreed you know the the previous psychiatrist in residence took his belt <laughs> then went back to raw and just threw the belt in the trash 